Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Wren and I'm a legal research consultant here at LexisNexis. Uh, previously I did a video explaining some of the differences and enhancements on Lexis Plus versus Lexis. One of those features I talked about was the code comparison tool. Well today I'm going to talk to you about another feature called the search term map. Now, this is something you guys might already be familiar with because this feature actually is available on Lexis. However, it's exclusively only available for case law research. Well, what Lexis Plus did was we expanded this feature not just to cases, but beyond that, to statutes, legislation, admin codes and materials, and secondary sources. So this actually might be a little refresher training for some of you, but for some of you, uh, it might be brand new. So we will go over that here right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a basic search that you normally would on regular Lexus. So I have attorney and labor and contract and negligence and carnival. So you're telling the system you want to find all content on the Lexus platform that mentions these key terms. Now what we'll do now is run the search and it's going to default to case law. It's going to show us the most relevant cases on the platform that discuss or mention these terms. It's going to be organized, in other words, in a hierarchy of relevance. So this number one case here, Sarah Cruz, they mention these terms the most amount of times. Therefore, it's the most relevant. Now, the search term map down here is it identifies a specific key term that we ran with a specific color. Now, as we can see, contract is purple, carnival is red, negligence is green. So it's showing you where these words are located in the case before you even open up the case. So I want to focus our attention on this little bar right here from left to right. Now think of this as like a two-dimensional view of the case. So here's the opinion and it's showing you in the case as we go from left to right where these words are located based on their identified color. So this one you might notice is has a blue star underneath it. Uh, this little block of colors. This is saying that this is the most relevant part of the case. In other words, where these words are mentioned the most with the most frequency. Um, so we can go ahead and skim this little paragraph here before we even open up the case to figure out if this case is talking about the idea or topic that we actually want to focus on. You know, sometimes and most of the time when we do case law research, I'm sure you know, uh, just because a case mentions these words doesn't necessarily mean they're talking about the same idea that you're trying to, to, to find. Uh, but what we can do is you can move down the little map here and you can click on other little code bars. Click on the little colors and now we can see where the specific word is being mentioned in the case just by clicking on the bar. So it helps us with uh, pretty, pretty uh, frequently and pretty quickly locate where these terms are being mentioned and kind of read these little snippets uh, before we even open up the case to figure out if this case is even talking about the idea that we care about. Now, this is not exclusive just to Lexus Plus. This feature is available on Lexus. But what we added this, uh, we expanded this feature not only to cases, but to statutes, legislation, practice notes, articles, templates and checklists, secondary materials, and all these other categories that you see here on the left. Now, the system will default to cases, but we don't have to just look at cases. For example, maybe you're interested in statutes and legislation uh, mentioning these terms and connectors. And here we go, the exact same thing, except now it's just statutes and legislations. Now we scroll down and it's showing us again, by default, uh, the most relevant portion of the statute that we're looking at. And again, you can change the little code right here on the right by clicking on the color. And it'll show us where that word is being mentioned within this code. Uh, likewise, we'll go ahead and click on statutes legislation. We'll scroll down to secondary materials. Same concept. Uh, it's a nice, easy way to help make your legal research more efficient. So for those of you who uh, are familiar with this, this might be a review for you, but just know that it's now expanded to beyond case law. Um, but this is a good feature to help uh, make your legal research more efficient and effective. 